30-10. I'm not going any lower than that today. I want a long game. Get some practice in. If I can't get any games actually in the site, maybe I'll get a game outside of the site. Casual. Okay, they're lasting a bit longer than the inside games. So let's see how we get on. It's Castle. Let's open up the dark square, Bishop. X-ray through to the queen. Small piece attacking a higher piece. Let's take. Actually bringing it here. Attack the, excuse me, attack the knight. Let's take with the bishop. It's only an hour and about taking with the pawn, but I didn't really want to block my bishop in. It is going to get attacked, but we can double the pawns, cause a bit of disruption. So I think causing disruption is nice. We could block that before that happens. But then the knight gets to escape. So shall we disrupt the pawns? Let's disrupt the pawns. If they continue, just move the rook. Which they're not doing. They could have done because they would have been on a higher piece. That's the way I would have looked at that bit of logic. So we can push the pawn to block. Then the rook comes to attack the pawn. So then we have to shift it, but then the bishop's on the pawn. So probably safe for just bringing the rook here. It's got a two on one, but we can move the pawn now. To block the bishop. Could carry on doing that. Or we could attack their rook. So I think just keeping some sort of momentum. Giving them something to think about. Could bring the pawn here. Can imagine the rooks looking to come for a juicy meal. Move the queen off of the line, attacking both pawns. Rook comes down, but it gets taken. But this pawn is not protected so we'd have to do this first we're probably going to lose a bit of tempo i don't think we'll get these pawns so we'll go with this with the idea of potentially getting the queen across here it is away from our king so i'm a, a little bit mm, about it they may still look to chat Okay, so he's coming. Oh, he's protecting one of the pawns with the queen. At the same time, he's got this business going on, but he doesn't have any support there. So I'm going to bring the queen and attack the pawn. But I'm only attacking one, so he can defend with the rook. And they blocked that off quite nicely, didn't they? But like I said, I'm a bit worried now my king is like, it's not got much company with it. And it looks like they've seen this action, which isn't right, is it? Okay, so we've got them moving. Maybe bring the queen back. I think our bishop's going to get taken off the board, isn't it? That's probably why the queen's come down. Bishop's going back, take, then he's going to get a pawn. So I think that's why that's been done. So if we bring the pawn here, brings the bishop back, we bring our queen here. Our structure's going to be so messed up.
Score one. See if that rings true. As we know, they don't do anything that we think they're going to do majority of the time. Oh, and they have done. Let's swing it across. Let's take, like we said, we're going to have a messed up pawn structure here. We're just going to have tripled up the pawns. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> triple pawns. Who was it? I keep harping on about the triple pawns thing. Was it Ray Robson in one of them St. Louis games? He still won with this sort of structure. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, dear. So I'm not laying out much hope on this one, but let's give it a go, shall we? The thing is, we can just come here and support this pawn because his rook can't come here, can't come there. Only place it's going to attack is this pawn. <laughs> okay, I think we'll go with the basics and just mind you, we could go here, we'll come with the rook and protect rather than coming here. Which one is best? This one is giving a bit of space to potentially come and attack if we were going to because we could go and attack their pawn they come down to attack our pawn we take their pawn they take our pawn we take their pawn he takes our pawn so we've got this pawn left Then his king comes across and starts taking stuff off the board. He's got pawn majority already here. So there'll be like a rook exchange. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, they've offered a draw. I could take a draw, you know. I could take a draw. Why not on this occasion? Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. Boom, 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 boom. Is it thinking? It's showing a draw. But it's not changing, is it? Let's just uh, go back, back, back. Yeah, yeah, it's jumped straight to a draw. Nice one. Ah, oh, yeah. Lovely. Nothing to do. Thirty ten. We're playing casual anonymous games because we've attempted to go in on the site and both games just weren't interested in playing a long game. So I've reduced it down to thirty ten. I'm not playing a quick game today, I just want to play some long games. Let's castle. Castle into the potential trouble. Tempting. Let's hit this palm. Let's hit the bishop.
I don't need to move that fast, but the obvious moves I can move quickly. Let's just bring the knight out. Shall we not because the knight is there? Anything else that we can do? White square bishop. We can take the pawn. Because if we don't, they take, take, gets two pawns. Let's do it. You've done the greater good, little pawn. Let's do a small pawn move just to stop the knight from feeling it's going to get some activity here. Okay. So not feeling too bad. Now the queen is moved. It's getting all this diagonal. Bishop's probably looking to come here because the knight's no longer protecting. So do we just block that off before they even start thinking about doing any of that? Or is there something more pressing? I do like this. I do like this. It should give them something to think about. If they don't, just lock it down a little bit. Oh, let's um, do something with the small little pawn. Very more to set to just go for this target point. Let's take this off the board without thinking. So we gained a minor piece. I want to get a good position as well now. Queen, she can't come through there just yet. Okay, take a moment. I need to give my king company. Oh, he's got a two on one. So I'm going to have to bring the bishop here. So always when there's an attack, there's always a counter attack potential. So you leave gaping holes. If you attack, we attacked. And now we've got gaping hole. Oh, and the knight's coming in. It's got this um, sp space here. So we could do this, but his queen is on our knight. This player has um, got some skills. So if we bring the queen here, then the knight comes here. He's attacking the pawn and the queen. Shall we take the knight out of the equation? It's just the knight's got no support. The queen can actually come down and attack it. Not liking this position at all because of the knight being up to come here. But I think take the knight out of the equation or bring the rook here, attacking through to their queen. But the only issue was, was that the knight was going to be coming here. And if we pushed, it just take, but then obviously our knight can go anywhere because we're on their queen. Shall we move the knight first? In the, he's, he has moved now the knight so he's not got a two on one so we could bring the bishop here supporting the knight but then again it's this, it's this position can't do that I'm going to bring the rook opposite the queen we know the knight's jumping here and maybe doing this maybe the take or maybe he just takes the bishop off the board He's not got a check on our, but he's got a check on our queen. So if we did do that, maybe they take here because they're on our queen. Take back. I think we're going to go with that. Get ready to take back. Oh, okay, let's take this then. Queen's on, rook's on their queen. Knight's on the bishop and the queen.
just from that one knight greedy move. Greedy munching. Let's take with a check on the king. Okay, and let's take the rook off the board now. So, as we said earlier, for every attack, there's some sort of gap that has been left open. We could go and attack the king here. I'm chomping at the bit to do that. It's a check, but he just hides in the corner. I just don't like it when they just hide in the corner and then the rook comes then puts pressure on we must be able to do something else queen comes here goes there mm -mm 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 -mm. attack the queen with the bishop although then he just takes the pawn with the queen Ooh. that's why it's square oh steady on i'm clicking on stuff Oh, and they've resigned. Oh, let me just have a look. Oof, minus 10. All right, that'll do.